Right on. My name is Red for my YouTube channel. Let's do this. <laughs> Today's fragrance review is about the clone of this fragrance here. Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mall or Frederick Mallier. Now this is the uh, the cant of my Portrait of a Lady. I have this for the past 10 years now and I will open up the decant so you can see when this was new it was full but as time passes by I keep using it and now I only have a little bit left. It is a super concentrated, very potent Turkish rose along with cloves, berries, incense, sandalwood, patchouli, musk and this is a beast mode when it comes to projection, silage or central, longevity and the composition itself is super concentrated. Now the Paris Corner Emir has cloned this one and uh, replicated, reverse engineered and they came up with a Paris Corner Emir or identity unique portrait. I think this was just released, if I'm not mistaken, last year. Bottle looks expensive and mind you guys, this bottle itself is very heavy. This is a 100 ml bottle. This is basically the same notes with the portrait of a lady by Frederick Mall. Exactly the same notes and the top notes are considered to have rose or Turkish rose, clove, raspberry, blackcurrant and cinnamon. And then by the middle notes, it has the patchouli, uh, incense, sandalwood and by the base notes, there's musk, benzoin and amber. So we all know that Turkish rose is a very delightful rose that can be very strong and then it is combined with a clove which is somewhat medicinal with a little bit of leather tone out there and then there's this raspberry and blackcurrant that adds some freshness in the composition. If Portrait of a Lady is very dense, thick and deep, dark Turkish rose that is very sensual smelling along with its uh, somehow medicinal tone coming from the clove. The citruses from Portrait of a Lady is just very minimal. It is, it doesn't even add an ultra freshness to the composition. Unlike the identity unique portrait, I was smelling it upon initial spray. I can already smell the berries, the beautiful ultra freshness of the berries. Well, along with the Turkish rose, the blackcurrant and the raspberry here at the identity unique portrait, it is really juicy. I wouldn't say it's sour or tangy, no, but it's really juicy and fresh, but not as fresh as like those um, high heat summer fragrances. No, it cannot be a summer fragrance because there is this um, dark green Turkish rose with it. So this is basically a fall and winter fragrance. This can get you many compliments on the seasons of fall and winter, maybe in the early spring. Same with Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mott. You cannot use this on the summertime or even in the high heat of summer because it is truly a beast, like an extra. It will really annoy the people around you and even sneeze if you over apply or even in just three sprays with this Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mott because of its heavy composition of notes, especially when it comes to rose and clove at the beginning stage. The cinnamon note in the first 15 minutes brings some sweetness to combine with the juiciness of the berries coming from the blackcurrant and raspberry. But cinnamon also is a spice note, so it also blends well with the clove, enhancing its spiciness and combining it with the rose. So the clove here, I think, was thin because of the presence of the cinnamon. The middle notes that goes like about 20 minutes upon spray has this beautiful patchouli incense and sandalwood. So in the middle notes, the rose is still there, patchouli is hiding, creaminess of sandalwood is also tamed and weak. The incense doesn't have its edges, it doesn't smell like a church with this identity unique portrait. Only a tamed and weak incense, a Turkish rose. And the rest of the notes are just supporting it. While in the mid stage of the Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Moll goes into more on the patchouli and the sandalwood, while the incense is also just a support. Yet the Turkish rose is still here but it's equally performing along with the patchouli. There is an impression in Portrait of a Lady of that moment when you are outside after a heavy rain and you can smell the after the rain scent of the soil along with the sun rays. That smell similar to the uh, patchouli and this Turkish rose 
To me, it smells really divine. If a woman pass by me, wearing this portrait of a lady, I will be wowed, I will be stunned, I will be captivated. It is so magnetic, it will be a head turner for me once she pass by wearing this portrait of a lady, say, after 20 to 30 minutes. It is beautiful also. It's just, it's weaker, tamer compared to the density of the mid-stage, the portrait of a lady. Plus comparing the price, portrait of a lady is very high-end expensive. It's a luxury perfume, while the uh, identity unique portrait is way cheaper. It's not bad. It's gorgeous also. Now when it comes to the base, the base notes would be considered musk, benzoin, and amber. Both of them has those notes because musk has always been the base note when it comes to fragrances and musk is the one that is holding the fragrance to be uh, lingering and when it comes to the amber both of them feel so warm with the amber and the sweetness of the amber here is always detected even from the mid-stage down to the base while the sweetness of the amber here it combines with cinnamon along with the rose so the amber note here always combined with the lingering rose and patchouli that makes both fragrance to smell sweet by the dry down and also warm and not just the amber guys there's this benzoin benzoin is known to be smooth with a vanilla it's still both ways i can smell the benzoin along with the amber by the base same on these two fragrances identity and the portrait of a lady so to sum up my fragrance impression of these two gems from the top stage they are similar not 100%. This works equally with the Turkish rose and the uh, berries, while Portrait of a Lady is more concentrated on the rose and the clove, the spiciness of the clove plus the spiciness of the cinnamon. Berries and rose with that sweetness, Turkish rose and clove with much more spices. When it comes to the mid stage, they went on different path. The unique portrait identity almost stays linear from the top stage going to the middle. As always, it's still Turkish rose with just a minimal patchouli. And then there's this berry still, but it's already slowly hiding. So the impression of the middle stage on this one, which is more thick and dense and deep and heavy, is milder, weaker, and much linear compared to this. They're both good. By the base stage, unique portrait definitely goes on a different path leading to the direction of Paris Corner Oud Satin Mood without the Oud, without the chocolate impression that is mixed up with the rose and other spices and incense coming from the Paris Corner Oud Satin Mood. While the dry down or the base note of the Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Moll stayed the same as its mid-stage but weaker and tamer but Comparing to other perfumes, it is still dense and strong comparing to the other fragrances out there, even on its base note or dry down. Now for the age range, men and women, 25 years old and above, you can wear unique portrait identity because of the berries inside that is more obvious compared to the berries here with portrait of a lady. So it's a little bit youthful, fresher from 35 years old going up. A mature blend and a beast mode super projecting, super scent trailing, and super long lasting compared to the identity. Projection on identity in the first 30 minutes to 45 minutes is massive. For the scent trail of identity unique portrait, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Scent trail of portrait of a lady, it is massive. Same with the projection. It will leave a scent trail for like 45 minutes to one hour. It will leave a mark in the room even when you're gone, it stays there monstrosity super peace mode this is like ultra electromagnetic pop this is like an explosion of the sun or an explosion of a planet beastly them king kong godzilla and optimus prime longevity on my skin it just lasts on the first five to six hours then it gets close to skin for a couple of hours and that's it to my first time viewers and returning viewers if you find this review interesting and quite helpful in your scent journey or in your research about this kind of scent dna please subscribe to my channel and help me grow in numbers slowly please guys i appreciate your kindness in advance to my current subscribers and new subscribers thank you so much guys i appreciate you all thank you for your kindness my name is red for my youtube channel let's do this